Jury selection in Donald Trump's hush money trial is set to begin in just 12 days. But Trump's team is now fighting to throw the judge off the case. They've tried this before, but are arguing now for a second time that Judge Juan Mershon has a conflict of interest because his daughter works as a political consultant with Democratic candidates. This new push comes after the judge expanded a gag order barring Trump from attacking his family. And here to discuss, former federal prosecutor and MSNBC legal analyst Christy Greenberg. So, Christy, this argument to try to remove the judge didn't work before, but his team is claiming that they have some new evidence or new examples of this, what they're calling a conflict of interests. Is it different this time? Do they have a case? It's not different. They didn't actually cite to any specific evidence. It was a lot of regurgitating the same nonsense that was in their motion from August of 2023, which, by the way, a New York State Judiciary Advisory Committee looked at this very issue and said the judge's daughter's independent political activities do not reasonably call into question the judge's impartiality and said there her, the daughter and her business are not part of this case at all. And there's no evidence and nor has Trump put forward any evidence that anything that happens in the outcome of this case would affect her or her business in any way. So, uh, you know, I, I don't think this will go anywhere. Again, this is just part of a strategy to inundate this prosecutorial team with as much paperwork and filings as they can so that they're not doing what they actually need to be doing, which is preparing witnesses and getting ready for the trial. Now, Trump is under a gag order, which means he can't talk about the family of the judge in addition to other people. But there was a clip that Trump posted from Fox News in which the host of that show talked about the daughter in a sort of disparaging way or questioning what, you know, she meant to the case, essentially. Is Trump violating the gag order by posting that clip if the words aren't coming from his own mouth or his own his own fingers on social media? I would say arguably yes, because so the gag order says you can't make the statements, you can't direct others to make the statements. But here, when you post something, you're retweeting something, there is a sense that you are endorsing or liking in some way the content of that message. So he's certainly at the line here um, if he hasn't already crossed it. And I would argue this is this this is crossing it. When you're putting that content out there, even if you're not the one making the statement, you are putting it out there to your your base, I, I, I think it is in violation. I, I think it's definitely a question that needs to be raised in the case. Why does he keep going after the family members? Again, I think it's part of this, in addition to delaying and distracting, he's looking to cause mass disruption. And when you go after the daughter of the judge, you then have witnesses coming in for witness prep, and they are saying, how are you going to protect me and my family if I testify against Donald Trump if the judge can't protect his own daughter? And there is an intimidation factor and the stoking of fear here that is real. And then you're going to have prospective jurors who are going to feel the same way and, and nervous to actually convict him and do their civic duty. Uh, so, and then just, I think it's de delegitimizing the entire process. Let's talk about the classified documents case, the federal case in Florida. Special counsel Jack Smith yesterday basically called out Judge Cannon over her request regarding jury instructions. And in a court filing, special counsel Smith says her request was based on a, quote, fundamentally flawed legal premise. The special counsel saying that jury instruction with that premise would distort the trial. Can you further explain what this is about and, and what do you make of Jack Smith confronting the judge here? He had to. He had to because it, the jury instructions she has proposed are that wrong. The faulty premise he's pointing to is whether or not these records that Donald Trump was in possession of, whether they were presidential or personal under the Presidential Records Act, is irrelevant. It doesn't matter. He's charged with violating the Espionage Act. And nothing in the Presidential Records Act gives him the authority to possess classified material. That's what he's charged with. So, uh, again, this would just confuse the jury. It's wrong legally, and as a legal matter, she has to decide it. It's the kind of thing where it's almost like a red herring if it were on a law school exam. And the problem is she would be failing that law school exam, but she actually doesn't even want to hand in the exam to get grades. She doesn't want to make a decision. And so what Jack Smith is also saying in this brief is you not only need to dis you need to deal with this issue, but you need to make the decision so that I can appeal it if you go the down this route.
Okay, that's one to watch. Thank you so much, Christy Greenberg. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.